I am not rejoicing that two people got fired. But on the other hand, this is professional sports. This isn't your friend who, you know, works a regular guy job and he's making 50 grand a year and dude got fired and you're like, screw him. Good. I'm glad he got fired. No, come on. These are guys that are making millions and millions and millions of dollars. They have both been given ample opportunities. And in a business like professional sports, that is about one thing and one thing only winning. That's it. That's how you're measured. Brandon Staley has proven over the course of his three seasons, he's not a winning coach in the NFL. He told you he had the right men. He told you he coached his ass off. He told you he had the right assistants. Everything was set up for Brandon Staley to succeed. They paid the quarterback. They gave him two excellent high-priced pass rushers. They gave him help in the secondary. They drafted wide receiver after wide receiver in the first round. They gave Brandon Staley everything that he needed to be successful. And the reason that Tom Telesco also gets fired, and again, Tom Telesco, very, very nice human being as far as I know the guy. But guess what? As a general manager in the NFL, very bad. You can tell me that he drafted the quarterback or that he went out and made a trade for the defensive end or he drafted the other defensive end or he started to work on his line or he happened to get lucky with Austin Eckler and he didn't have to spend as much on a big time running back. Listen, Tom Telesco made move after move after move that you said that's Super Bowl caliber rostering right there. Well, guess what? It never really worked. No matter how much they spent, no matter how big the stars were, no matter what positions they played in their impact, it never worked. Guys can't stay healthy. Organization can't get them healthy. These are all issues that are, they're all just out there. But Tom Telesco was the guy that was shielding John Spanos because you can't fire the kid. And so now when you lose this game, like the Chargers lost last night, and by the way, if they would have lost to the Chiefs, if they would have lost to anybody else, anybody, anybody else, anybody. I mean, for the most part, last night was a complete and utter humiliation. But to lose to the Raiders, because you got to understand, there's deeper animosity than just a football rivalry between these two organizations. There is an owner-to-owner -owner rivalry between Dean Spanos and Mark Davis, because remember, these were the two laughing stocks. Remember when the meetings went down in Houston years and years ago and the NFL said we're giving L.A. to the Rams and Dean was on one side and like Mark Davis was on the other side and we'll give it to one of these two guys, but we're not sure yet. And they together were like, well, we want L.A. We want to have our own stadium in L.A. We want to be partners. And then you, we all know the story. The Chargers had to go become the, you know, the second fiddle to the Rams and the Raiders went from being dirt poor to kind of being really rich because they got somebody else to build their stadium. They took over Vegas. And Mark Davis now has the kind of money to fire coach after coach after coach. My point is, is that there's a rivalry between these owners that extends way beyond the history of the football rivalry. So to lose to the Raiders on national television and be down 49 nothing at halftime, to give up 63 points to the Raiders with a first-year, fifth-round quarterback when they've already fired their coach, general manager, and offensive coordinator? I mean, my God, to lose is one thing. But remember, the Raiders were shut out a week ago against the Vikings. They lost 3 nothing. We thought that game set football back. Last night, it may have been entertaining and laughable, but that was pathetic. That's NFL football. So. Firing Telesco, firing Staley, 100% justified. Absolutely the right move for a franchise that has been nationally ridiculed yet again. They may be worth more than ever before, but they are still the same laughing stock that they were in San Diego, only bigger now because of the stage they play on. Chargers fire their head coach and their general manager after being destroyed and humiliated by the Raiders last night.